guys, it's Lisa Howell here from Perfect Form Physio and today I wanted to go through a question that I have been asked repeatedly over the last 10 years and that is, does cracking your joints give you arthritis? Now this is a really, really common question and it's often asked to me by either parents of students who they notice cracking their back or their knuckles a lot and they're getting quite concerned or by students themselves who have been told either by a teacher or a dance teacher or another health professional that they shouldn't be cracking their back so often. So what exactly is it with cracking joints? What actually happens when the joint cracks? Is it dangerous? Is it okay if it's done by a chiropractor? And does it give you arthritis? We're going to explore a lot of these questions today as well as some ways of releasing the tension other than cracking your back and how to actually stop that feeling of needing to crack your back from coming back long term. So the first thing we need to explore is what actually happens when a joint cracks. And this is actually something that's really hard to answer and there are a lot of theories about because it's really hard to observe it actually happening. Obviously we can't just cut open someone while they're still alive and awake to see what happens when a joint cracks. And if we put somebody un under anaesthetic or if we try to do it on a cadaver, it's very hard to make the joint actually make that same sound. So it's very hard to watch what actually goes on. But the theory that makes the most sense to me is that it's the release of suction or a vacuum around the joint. So when a joint is stretched in a particular way, the joint surfaces are pulled apart from each other and the capsule or surrounding ligaments kind of suck in. Similar to if you push a plunger against a hard surface, then you try and pull it away. It'll have a little resistance and then there'll be a pop as it comes away from the wall as there's an equalization of pressure from the outside of the joint to the inside of the joint. Now when this happens in a joint, that release of pressure usually happens by a separation of fibres in the ligament or in the capsule, which at the time feels wonderful. There's a lot of release of pressure and it usually feels like you can actually move a whole lot more. However, over time, if you repeatedly do that same joint and you're getting a separation of the ligaments in the same place, the ligament can become overstretched and the joint can become unstable. So, is this a bad thing? Well, this actually leads us to the bit about arthritis. If the joint is repeatedly cracked and the joint becomes unstable, over time, that joint will have more mobility. It will take more wear and tear, which means the cartilage will get worn down more frequently, which can actually lead to osteoarthritis. So while cracking your back doesn't necessarily cause arthritis directly, the loosening of the ligament leads it to a position where it's more likely to get arthritic change over a long period of time. So is it okay if it's done by a chiropractor or a physio? Now, don't get me wrong, I have nothing against manipulation and I actually do it myself probably between about five and 10 times a year when it's really, really necessary. However, I do have an objection to having repeated cracks of the same joint or a global manipulation where you rotate and multiple levels go at the same time. Usually what happens if we're doing a manipulation for a specific treatment, we really isolate down to one joint that is very, very stiff. If you just twist yourself, usually the stiff portion will stay stiff and the crack will happen either above or below, which will continually weaken that point. So if you are having treatment and you are having the same joint cracked over and over again, do chat to your therapist about this. It's something that we want to avoid as much as possible because again, we can be weakening all the ligaments around that joint and making it unstable. So what do you do if you feel like you need to crack your back? Now, I personally know just how hard this is to avoid cracking your back. I am a reformed cracker. I used to crack my back multiple times a day, um, even before I went to physio school. And then when I went to physio school, all my friends loved practicing on me because I made a really loud crack. However, leading up to exams, when I was having this done quite a few times during the day, I started experiencing a lot of pain due to instability in my back because my ligaments were getting so stretched and I didn't have the control to stabilize my spine. It took me about four years after that to actually learn how to isolate the right muscles in my spine to stabilize it so I didn't have pain. And during this time, I would have to crack my back. 
Now I know how hard it is to go cold turkey, um, so there are some strategies that I've developed to make it easier to cope with this. There are some gentle stretches that we can do that can help release the pressure that you're trying to release with the crack so that you don't feel like you need to crack. But the most important thing is actually learning how to stabilize the small muscles either side of that joint so that there's not resultant pressure on the joint when you want to crack it. So if you have a back or any other joint that you like to crack a lot and you're worried about it becoming a little bit unstable, give us a call, come and have a session with either me or one of the other fantastic therapists here at Perfect Form Physio and we'll be able to show you some very specific stabilizing exercises for those joints as well as some gentle stretches to get you over that feeling of needing to crack so you don't have to have any more damage to your joints. I hope you enjoyed this. Please like or comment on the spaces provided and share with your friends, especially if you have somebody who cracks their back a lot. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.